After our mini trip to Bai Sawan back in April, I just couldn't get the beautiful ocean views out of my head. So I decided to take another trip to view, behold, and experience ocean views to my heart's content. Ready? Let's go! The first thing I did was hop on bus A62. This bus travels between Danshai and Jilong all along the north coast. Other than getting to see the ocean for quite a bit of the way, uh, windows are a little dirty on this bus. Let me show you some footage from another day that was taken on the same bus line. So other than gazing at the ocean through a window, there are numerous stops along the way where you can get off for a better view. Like Bai Sawan where we went last time, the famous Yellow Geo Park, and Zhong Jiao Wan, a bay with a sandy beach perfect for surfing, and a botanical garden. Wow, look at that great expanse of open water and those mountains in the distance. But where's the garden? Google Maps said it would be here. Uh, are those shrubs the garden? Those are some cute plants though. <laughs> Try as I may, I just couldn't find a garden. So I thought I would draw along the coast and attempt to film some artistic footage of my foot <laughs> and the ocean. Oh yeah, this stretch of the coast is called Jumpstone Coast. The stones are actually volcanic rocks made round and smooth through wind and water erosion. And that little tip over there is Yeryo Cape, where you'll find the Queen of North Coast. Wait, I'm the Queen of North Coast. That was exhausting. Let's get some food! I had a chicken udon noodle soup and a pineapple mango thyme soda. Ooh, pretty drink! But how am I supposed to eat the pineapple? An extra plate and a knife would be very helpful. After my late lunch, I got on bus A62 again and slept all the way to Jilo. Time for dinner! Yes, we're having Bowie for dinner. There are eight flavors and this is the strawberry one. Bubble ice is a bit smoother than slushies, but not as creamy as ice cream. Made with only strawberries, sugar, water, and lemons. Limes. Bubble ice tasted very natural. Okay, so <laughs> I was joking about having only bubble ice for dinner. I actually got a shrimp va one, a squid rice mochali soup, and a Vietnamese inspired dessert all to enjoy in the comfort of my hotel room. Wow, look at those jagged green cliffs. The endless ocean. The little boats gliding across the water. This place is absolutely beautiful. In case you're wondering, this is Badozi Coastal Park, where the insta-famous Wang Yogu is located. As stunning as the views may be, there's only a little bit of shade on the way here and almost no shade once I reach the park. The only refuge from the sun I could find was this pavilion on the number 80 highland and this little cube thingy. Good thing I brought my own shade. Let's see what the view is like up there. That's Jilongyu over there and you can even see the Ba Doujie and Bisa fishing ports. After that scorching walk in the park, I found a little cafe where I could enjoy shaved ice with a view of the Zhenbing fishing port. Rehydrated and rested, I then set out for the Ba Doujie train station to enjoy more ocean views on a bike. A rail bike, to be exact. So what's a rail bike? It's a bike that goes on railroads. Back in the day, the railroad here was used to transport sugar, salt, and coal to the ports. But after coal production dwindled and a nearby power plant closed, trains stopped traveling along this stretch of the railroad. This building is part of what's left at the Jianji Colliery. And we're officially in Shen'ao, our third fishing port of the day and home to Elephant Trunk Rock and Chief Rock. It was starting to get dark, so I thought I would save Chief Rock for next time and head over to Elephant Trunk Rock. It was a bit of a walk and a climb to the rock. 
cute strappy sandals not recommended but the view and the otherworldly land formations along the way was well worth it it was very peaceful to listen to the waves and see the mountains in the fading light it was getting really dark and I was a bit scared to be the only one walking on the dark roads but I made it to the bus stop safely you see those little speckles of light over there? I think that may be Zhou Fen so I ended up having to wait 37 minutes for my bus and there was only 22% left on my phone battery I guess I'll just twiddle my thumbs for 37 minutes <gasps> fun the bus finally came and I made it back to my hotel room with more than 10% left on my phone battery it's dinner time on the menu today, we have eel soup from the night market it tasted nice, but the bones were a pain to pick out then I had some crab soup and oily rice they made sure there was crab meat in every bowl both the soup and the rice was quite good I was feeling a bit warm after all that hot soup and thought I'd get some sashimi last time we came to Zhu Tian Xian Yu Hao there was only a few people, it was quite relaxed and we could talk to the chef about what to order we ended up with quite a bit of sashimi and a sashimi rice bowl this time, this place was packed with people standing in long lines I gave up after waiting for 20 minutes and gave my number a slip to an old lady still craving seafood I stopped by a seafood stall at the night market and that's for stir fry tao tiu which is a Taiwanese term for a type of squid for some reason the stall owners didn't seem to understand what I was saying so I repeated my order several times tao tiu tao tiu and this is what they gave me come on I don't think my Taiwanese is that bad is it? The weather forecast said it was going to rain in the afternoon so after a quick hotel breakfast with lots of coffee I rushed off to see the colorful houses at Zhenbing Fishing Port The colorful houses are just colorful houses <laughs> I mean I thought the view over a nearby bridge was a lot more interesting Right by the bridge is what used to be another popular photo spot the Agena Shipyard Unfortunately, it's not open to the public anymore due to the danger of the building collapsing Every single entrance was barred off I'm not sure how those people got in There's a fish market on the other side of the bridge and the yellow bridge in the distance looks kind of familiar Where have I seen it before? Oh, it's that same bridge I saw in Badou's Coastal Park I wanted to explore Heping Island but didn't want to be caught out in the rain so I went back to Jidong City to take the bus back to Danshui when I reached Jidong City, the clouds had rolled in but luckily by the time it started raining I was already on a bus on my way back so did you view, take in, and enjoy Ocean Views to your heart's content? let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and don't forget to like and subscribe! I'll see you on my next everyday wandering!